Hello. When I set out to uh, start my little channel, of which there's still no subscribers, but I don't really care. This is about what I want to do, what, not, not what you want to watch, so... Meh. Whatever. I basically needed an excuse to set up a proper little computer workstation and storage area. I'm obviously not done yet, I've still got this section to do. But, uh, electronics pile there that's pretty much all laser disc players. Uh, laser disc players and uh, a cartridge based 8mm film projector that needs a little bit of repair. A unicorn. And some old uh, XP era machines that I'm going to turn into uh, retro gaming builds. An Intel and an AMD. Both from the same year, same specs essentially. Be interesting little project. And I've also got a nice little monitor that I've got to redo a few capacitors in. Oh, this is the airsoft gun, don't panic. A little uh, little Dell with a Celeron D that I'm going to upgrade to a Pentium D because I happen to have a Pentium D lying around that's compatible with it. Why the hell not? Uh, hold on. Ah, my gloves are sticking to everything. There we go. Light. This is my main uh, workstation. A little uh, refurbished Dell Optiplex 960 with a really powerful, highly directional Wi Fi antenna that lets me get really good signal even out here, 150 feet from the base station. Plus, through a bunch of. Uh, Okay, maybe about 75 feet from the base station, but still going through an awful lot. Uh, this is a much more modern uh, Wi-Fi Wi-Fi device, and it gets it says it gets good signal, but it <laughs> three four hundred kilobytes per second on uh, three hundred megabit connect connection. Yeah, I think it's having some issues with range. This one, on the other hand, does two three megabytes per second, so still a little slower. And oh yes, you see that flicker. Yeah, that is indeed a 520GS. Perhaps the best monitor ever made. Well, CRT monitor ever made. Cost me two bucks. No, four bucks, sorry, four bucks. Got a little test monitor here. It's got uh, both VGA and uh, DVI inputs, so good for that. Interestingly enough, this actually has an HDMI in, so I can use it to test HDMI stuff and actually use it as a, a monitor itself which is useful and it passes through the audio to the beat speakers so you can literally use this as a TV just by selecting the input it's kind of cool uh, got the old gorgeous 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 uh, 400 uh, firewire 400 DB special edition graphite iMac one of the first gen slot loading I'm uh, Second generation of slot loading IMAX. Um, it's a decent little machine, 233 megahertz. I got uh, a fair amount of RAM in it. I think it's 512. I don't know, I might have even maxed it out. Uh, 640, so just, uh, just a few megs shy. Oh, actually, that is a 400 megahertz. I was wrong about the speed on this. I thought it was 233. Oh, I'm not going to complain. I need to clean it up a little bit. Um, this is a first-gen Apple TV that I'm going to be converting into a uh, early Intel Mac running Tiger. It says six bucks. I got it half price, so three bucks. Not bad. This is just. This is the pile of death. Dead modem. Dead RAM. This really pissed me off. Rage XL. Frickin' Rage XL. These are they're they're terrible, but they're also really not common. <laughs> they're fairly hard to find. Nobody wants them either, which makes them even more rare. And I don't care if anybody else wants them. I want them. This is a 4300 uh, GT43, 430, GT430, yeah. I have two of them, one of them doesn't work. They came out of an S, a system that was running them in SLI and 
one of them burnt out. This is an FX 5200. Really pissed this doesn't work. This. I mean, look at this beauty. And two burnt caps right on the VRM module. Wonderful. This one. Um, I don't actually know what's wrong with it. It just throws a, uh, a clock uh, system uh, system timer error. So it'll post. Right as soon as it posts, it does beep, 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 and reboots. Right back to the post screen and just does that in an infinite loop. It's, it's dead. There's something wrong with it. It's a pile of death. That's why it's all just in a nasty pile over here. I don't really care for it except for as spare parts. Um, the chips are still good which is why I've actually got them. I don't have a place to store my, uh, my AMD chips, so I'm just leaving them in the boards for now. Better safe than sorry. Um, I've actually got another dead board inside of this system, which is a really, really, really cool little number from 2003 that has all parts from 1999. Yeah, this was a, this was a budget... Uh, budget custom build from 2003 so it's got drives from 2003 in it with all the other components from 1999 it's kind of kind of an interesting little toy and this is actually the board that came out of it because the board was dead because of the burnt out caps this one is doing the same thing it's uh doing a, a timer reset yeah so probably dead caps somewhere on the board but this one's actually got a working neon light in it. You see it down there. Just just barely kind of see it in there. Hanging on the bottom there. So definitely going to do something with this case. I need to use that lovely neon light. No, that's not a bad. It's a uh, my pillow mattress topper that I got for free. A lot of stuff I get for free. It was a bed for your lovely little Batman kitty. But he never used it, so... Now it's out of the way. But yeah, nice little workstation. The garage itself is still an absolute nightmare. I'm going to be putting little walls up here, a little wall up here, and uh, carpeting, which should uh, provide sufficient insulation for the equipment out here. And I've got a indoor safe propane heater that I'll be running to keep the temperature right around uh, 60 degrees. Should also keep the humidity down because propane heaters are nice dry heat. I'm still still setting up the Optiplex, downloading uh, drivers with Snappy Driver Installer. Do, 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 do. Gotta love, gotta love it. It's quick, it works. Oh, ta-da! It's a freaking ball mouse. It's a good ball mouse, too. Best membrane keyboard I have ever touched. It feels exactly like a mechanical keyboard. Let me see if I can get a specific model on the frame for you. It is the JME7053. Let's see if I can get a good center shot on that. There we go. If you are looking for something and you can find one of these on eBay, there's really not anybody who gives a crap about them. They're just a, 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 the Lenovo the keyboard that came with an assist, a Lenovo system from like 2003. But it's, it's a membrane keyboard, but it feels just like a, um, uh, a catastrophically collapsing spring. Not, not a true mechanical switch keyboard, but it, the, those, those popping spring keyboards, which are personally my favorite. It feels and sounds just the same. I love that space bar. Friggin' PS2 keyboard though, so keep that in mind. You won't be able to use it with a modern system unless you've got an adapter. And um, not all adapters are created equal. I find that the uh, adapters made from about 1999 to 2005 have the greatest range of compatibility, uh, being USB 1.1 by nature rather than uh, shoehorned USB 2 like some of the more modern PS2 to USB adapters. That and I've noticed that as technology gets older, the adapters for them to get crappier. I'm not 100% sure why that is, but meh, whatever. Anyways, looks like this uh, video is just about 10 minutes. 
So I'll go ahead and stop it here. Just a, just a quick overview of my new workstation. Um, I think I posted a small video about my most recent acquisitions, which I think included the Beats audio computer there. Um, but yeah, this couple thousand dollar steel case desk, free. And I've got another one I'm getting next week. Same desk. It's going right here. That's why there's a gap here. It's going where this table is. This table is turning this way. This projection TV is turning this way, facing this way. I've got a projector and a projector set up that I'm going to set up. And I'm going to have all kinds of nice, pretty things in the background when I'm doing streams and videos. And it'll be another month or two before everything's completely set up. So most of the videos on my channel will simply be silly things like this. Mostly me talking to myself. But if you can't make videos for yourself, you can't make videos for other people. If I can't enjoy watching these videos, how can I assume anyone else would? Personally, I really like looking at people's collections of stuff. If I like looking at those videos and they're actually making those videos, obviously there's a market for it. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot about this little sucker. It's a Rage Rage Theater. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, it's got a... That, that's, I, I don't know how you could qualify this as a Rage Theater, to be perfectly honest. It doesn't have a tuner. But uh, it's got a TV out. <coughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's based on the, the old crappy Rage chipset, but uh, probably the most modern Rage-based card you can get. It was a, a bottom-of-the-barrel budget offering from, uh, like, 2001. <laughs> Pretty bad. But it, almost as rare as the, the Rage XL, but uh, meh. See, for me, I don't care how valuable it is. I just care. Like, a lot of people will pass up weird things like this freaking Trinitron gigantic monitor. It's like, I don't care how much it's worth. It's cool. That and it's the crispest, most beautiful looking CRT monitor I have ever seen. Anyways, enough waxing poetic about this Sony Trinitron. <laughs>